My name is Abaka Ajima. I work for SISLAC as Advocacy and Communication Specialist. Uh, fundamentally, um, we are here you know, uh, to raise community consciousness against you know, uh, violent extremism and terrorism financing. And also, uh, we also observed that in the previous, you know, um, or previous engagement, previous intervention by state and non-state actors, we get targeted at top most level in terms of terrorism, in terms of a weakened community hope, you know, to see what terrorism is all about, and now they can counter it, how they can go and get their community level. So uh, we are targeting the community, I mean the community itself, to ensure that uh, what we call, you know, that, you know, grassroots, you know, orientation and mainstreaming of this advocacy is cascaded, you know, and then from there, you know, you can see that, uh, because we, we, what, what we, I mean, so, so far is like, uh, we are treating the symptom, not the root causes of, uh, you know, violent extremism and terrorism. So community engagement, you know, enables us some kind of uh, enough, you know, engagement in terms of uh, um, outreach mm -hmm. beyond, you know, that to most level, cascade to regional, uh, religious leaders, mm -hmm. community leaders, mm -hmm. community observers, and vigilante groups. Mm -hmm. And also faith-based organization, an entire faith organization, which is also religion organization. Yeah. So when you also observe from the community, we observe that uh, we, we emphasize the role of uh, interfaith institutions, like uh, religious institutions, in that of preaching, in that of an uh, inculcation of moral value. Mm. So because we know that some of the radicalization, you know, starts from that in hand. And then if we don't, if we don't, if we don't begin to bring together really fine, you know, I mean, uh, what do you call, you know, uh, stakeholders, mm. like religious institutions, you know, traditional order to see and come together how they can, you know, resolve the issue, I mean, situation, how they can see the way it is and see the way it is. Mm. And they can also orientate their own followers, mm. you know, begin to say that uh, we have not done well, you know, uh, in the society. Most of people are, that are involved in terrorism, you know, are not, they are not even know that they are involved in it. Most of people that are involved, you know, in terms of financing for terrorism, and they, they don't even know. They, they, are, they are innocently involved. They are not even that they are they already they being used you know, for the perpetrated crime. Okay. But for the fact that uh, this one just like to, to raise consciousness against you know, uh, the menace, if I will call it, and then to also ensure that uh, there is a situation on conflict sensitivity at community level. So a community, you know, is of uh, like a twofold. We have the demand side of the community. We also have the supply side of the community. Yeah. The demand side is the fact that uh, we look for you know, those holistic recommendations to take you know, to cascade. Yeah. To the topmost level, in terms of national level, mm -hmm. and how to see that what we call policy change in terms of approach mm -hmm. and in terms of implementation, in terms of law and provision, you know, amendment and all that, you know, we have at that level. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, a community level, also, we also use it for situation level. I mean, to see how the key recommendation community can be cascaded mm -hmm. down you know, to the, you know, to really find, you know, uh, what you call stakeholders at community level.